Hello everyone. Today I'm talking about people who are born on December 20th leap years or December 21st common years. All information is taken from the catalog of human population. The reviewed person is by nature a collector, a money box, a stockkeeper. She is a type of accumulator who puts everything away, stockpiles it in large quantities. In this sense, her life could be compared to a computer hard drive, where files are gathered, constantly updated with the new material, and, at the end, the volume of information is just enormous. This lady's unique feature is that she does not throw away even those things that she doesn't need anymore. Everything is kept in a till. And thus, for many years, all things are stored in a godforsaken closet unless they are disposed in proper time, or papers in spe special archives, or books in libraries, or finished product at the warehouses of some plant. The same way she gathers collection of anything, opinions, stories, clothes, food, experiences, emotional states, lovers and acquaintances. The aim of such accumulation, which takes place on all factors, is to have all things in her life and access, to have everything duplicated. But even once she has many things, this lady doesn't stop in her accumulation. This is because collecting is not her whim or something resulting out of circumstances, but a consistent life strategy. She ex explains it to others that things are accumulated for the future sakes, for future generation. But affluence does not mean that having an abundance of something, for example, abundance of money, she will be throwing it left and right. This happens, of course, but only in times of her wild crushes. She strives to accumulate money in her wallet and on her bank account. For example, in the store, she would, try to save, she would try to save on purchases so that she would have some money left. But it's not only money she accumulates. Besides acquaintances and lovers, knowledge and information, products, she collects even routine activities. This person could create a lot of activities she's engaged in just for the sake of it. But needless to worry that she might overstrain herself due to an abundance of things to do. An accumulator algorithm would not allow her to overstrain. She would be managing her energy, always allowing time for relaxation. This is because, among other things, she is also a genius fitter, who can shape her own life as good as a piece of fabric. As, as for her life algorithms, accumulation fits perfectly with her other quality, conformism. She thinks that habits and traditions are the things that should be carefully succeeded from predecessors and transferred to the descendants. Although she might seem uh, volatile and inconsistent in times, this lady would guard and protect with all her mind anything related to tradition. Those could be completely different traditions, ranging from religious to criminal, from civilized traditions to traditions of absolute ignorance. But uh, these ethical and moral social principles are not the selection criteria. She would fanatically follow criminal and legal traditions, religious and atheist traditions, or any political tradition. The force she absorbs traditions with, the degree they become a shaping part of her character, make her become a product of a specific environment. And it is virtually impossible to break her, rectify or retire her or anything else. She explains such resistance and uncom uncompromising attitude, simply stating, I was taught so. It is hard to say that she is a violent lady, but she is very pushy and insists on the way of life infused by tradition. 
basic rules, laws, mode of action are set within these limits and she is willing to live and flourish under these rules. Constant craving of money is indicative of the reviewed person. She's literally crazy about the money and besides accumulating it, she also knows how to make it. Sometimes it seems that this lady knows how to make money out of the thin air. It seems money just stick to her. She's guided by the principle not a day without taking or getting cash and would always use the opportunity to snaffle some money. This person has also other characteristics, of course. Thus, being a risk taker, she feels very comfortably in the borderline situations. Figuratively speaking, she likes to getting in the situation which, as a volcano about to erupt and makes a show out of it. Then, using her incredible witness, coiling and escaping, she easily gets out of this or similar difficult situations. This lady can also ingeniously make others work for her. She's very creative in that, acting delicately, subtly and snake-like wisely. She has an ability to make crazy performances, put on crazy acts and realistic extravaganza with fireworks. With her sharp wit, fantastic deceitfulness, ability to be mean, cruel and violent in order to get what she wants, she appears like a warrior, a samurai who can use swords with both hands. Another characteristic helping her accumulate money is that this lady always does something quid pro quo. Social environment and the chosen way of making money will depend on traditions and education levels she managed to obtain. The range is quite large, from a saint to hardened criminal, from a market salesman to a genius musician. But out of any process, even the most primitive one, she would make a fascinating event for herself and for others. For complete information about this subtype structure or any subtype structure, please visit www.catalogofhumanpopulation.org.